Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I am back to share with you some spring and Easter projects. So um, I was getting ready to pack some of these things up and realized that I didn't do a video. So today it is currently snowing here in Maryland, which is super exciting to me. Um, and ironically, it is the second day of spring. <laughs> so yeah, I want to go outside and get some pictures and some video because I love the snow. So I'm really excited that it's snowing. I think it's been snowing since yesterday and I think we're probably going to get about a foot, maybe more in my area. Um, and they only predicted about eight inches. So yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you what I made. So I started to uh, pack some of this stuff up and I just wanted to show you before I did these rosettes. Um, I'm going to take the other, because I made a bunch of packs, but I'm going to take the other ones out of the package because of the, the glare. But I just wanted to show you this one first because I started putting the sequins in them. And I do need to put a topper on top of this. But I think these came out so super cute. The paper that I used was Echo Park Spring and Echo Park um, the Easter collection from Tuesday morning. Mostly the Easter collection. Um, and I used my rosette dye and just some bling and some stickers. Uh, the one thing that I did do different is I laminated all of these sheets because um, I felt like it made it a little bit more sturdy. And then I used some repositionable um, glue dots on the back so that the person can just pull them off and it won't like totally tear up the paper. I put some stickers down before I laminated the little... Um, cards here so I think that came out really cute so yeah I love this bling here all right did I say I use my Tim Holtz die I'm not sure my Tim Holtz rosette die I use for these and I use some stickles to go along the side um let me move these out the way because I made a bunch like I said I will take those out the pack before I show you so I don't kill you with the glare all right, the snow makes the my natural lighting really, really good because I don't have to worry about the, the sun rays. But anyway, that's a side note. So I made these cute little packs um, of embellishments and these I'm not gonna take out of the plastic because they're already packaged up really cute. So I used that little peep die or the bunny die from Cat Scrappiness, looks like that. I used the smaller one. And I just went crazy cutting out a bunch of these little bunnies. And I put my little topper on. And then I just have some bunnies here. And I love the saying, you're one of my favorite peeps. I got that stamp from AliExpress. I'm not even sure if the seller still sells it. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And then I use that tag die that I absolutely love. And that's this one here from Elena Crafts. And then super, super cute. All right, so here's the little embellishments that I did. A lot of these I doubled um, the paper just to make it thicker. And so here's the other one. And I think when I doubled the paper, it left a, a really good impression of the stitching, which I really like. So I use like just regular cardstock um, and then I use that 110-pound uh, cardstock from Michaels. I just glued those two papers together and then ran it through my machine. And I, was, I really like the way that that looked. So, and I did the same thing as far as like the cards. I die cut out the shape, and I used that. Um, I know I've showed this before. I used this um, die here, and I want to say it's the second. To the largest maybe but I use that die I love that die and I also got that from Allie so that's the first pack oh I did I stamped that out too and put that on the back I didn't do it on the other one though okay and then here's the the other packet I think these are so cute oh my gosh I just I love the way that they came out I really really do so here's this one. These two I didn't double. I just cut out the glitter paper. 
but I still think they look cute. And then here's, this one has three. Super, super cute. Love the way that these came out. And that's the back. And of course, you know, the paper was double-sided, so love that. Okay, so those are my little peep packs, and I'm probably going to, I'm going to try to make some more because I just, I really love the way those came out. Okay, so back to these. Let me take these out the pack, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I took them all out of the plastic so I can really show you without blinding you with the glare. But here we go. Here's one pack that I did. Like I said, I just used the Tim Holtz die. And a lot of them I ink because when you fold, if you guys have this die, you know, when you fold it, it leaves like a white edge. And I, I can't stand that. I really can't. So a lot of times I'll ink it. If I don't ink it, I always use my little stickles. And my favorite one is the Stardust stickles so that's what I did there and these one these little bubble um, stickers came from Walmart and then I did add some stickers from the collection before I laminated the little sheet here so super cute that's that one and then here we go Didn't they come out cute? I really, I'm really happy about that. I was gonna make them like the little flip packs, like how I did um, the peeps, but they were too bulky. So I didn't want them all like that. So I'm just gonna package them individually and make some toppers and send them like that. That's that one. So I wanted to, I didn't just want to put like bunnies and like Easter eggs and stuff like that on them because the recipient might want to use them after Easter. So I wanted to, you know, make a couple of them where they can use it anytime. Like this is, actually I think I used the spring pack from Echo Park on these. So they're not even like really Easter themed. But yeah, see, that's from that sp uh, spring pack from um, Echo Park. And then this one here. So this is from that Easter collection, but as you can, I love the plaid paper, but as you can see, you know, you can use that anytime, even this one, because it doesn't scream like Easter. So that's that one. And then this was an extra one that I had um, and this is from the spring collection I wasn't I mean it's cute but I'm not like crazy about the brown in the paper and I didn't realize that till after I put these rosettes together but I mean they still look kind of cute right so that's that one and yeah so that is my share you guys uh, let me know what you think and leave a comment down below i'm super excited about these hopefully i'll get a chance to make some more of the peep packs because those came out really cute i have a bunch more of the um some rosettes that i die cut out let me just show you real quick and these were actually using a um doodle bug paper that i had i didn't and there's, i love the bright colors on these so this was a doodle bug um, it was like a, col like a, not a collection kit, but it was, it came in like a really big pack from, oh God, I can't even think you guys, but they, um, it was like a big pack of paper that had like all different like seasons. And so, oh, that was from the other collection. And so I just pulled out all of the the Easter and the spring ones so these are like really I love these colors though they're so bright and pretty so I made some little rosettes and I didn't package these up yet but I, I probably will these actually came out of a six by six paper pad that I got last year and I still use that die but you can see and I, I really like the way that these came out actually um, so here's using that die this is the same die. This is using a, you know, it filled up the whole die. And I don't have it.
have it in front of me to show you guys, but um, so it filled up the whole die, and I only had a six by six paper pad, and so I just used that, and then, I mean, it still worked. It just gives it a different look. So, yeah. So that's what I did there. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to get ready to go outside and take some pictures of the snow. And, yeah. And probably try to get some other craft projects done today. But, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.